nice and lovely just look at that guys that is so fantastic as you can see no rush when you're frying a nice lovely fried chicken like this you can see my the pepper just frying in on the top of it just beautiful and nice look at that beautiful you guys are gonna love this so we are making this fry for a nice Welcome back in the kitchen with Chef Ricardo Cooking Show. Today we're going to show you how you can simple do some fried chicken at home. Very easy and simple and quickly also too. First of all, I must say to you, I have three eggs right here. I got one, two, four, six, eight pieces of chicken. Two cups of plain flour. What we need to do is to get the, the meat marinated up first so basically what I'm gonna do I'm gonna pop one teaspoon of chicken season and half teaspoon of chicken season inside of the flour that's the flour right here and it is plain flour guys remember plain flour lovely um, Next thing I'm gonna pop a, a, a teaspoon of all per this is paprika sorry and just a pinch of paprika inside of the flour that's the plain flour right there nice and lovely so right here I have some all-purpose seasoning and I'm gonna put one teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning and the chicken and just a pinch on the flour lovely and nice um, I got some grounded pimenta right here and I'm gonna put half teaspoon and a pinch also in the flour lovely um, I must say I got some more seasoning right here which I need to look for. I got some everyday season and I'm gonna put just a little pinch of the everyday season on the chicken and a pinch also on the flour. Lovely and nice. Pinch of coarse pepper pinch also in the flour so exactly what you see I'm doing right there you can do that at home guys and also you can put a pinch of hot pepper sauce just a little pinch not too much lovely and nice and I know you guys will love this recipe because it's very easy recipe I'm gonna pop a little bit of oil on it and now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna marinate my chicken and put it down for two hours lovely second thing just use a spoon or a fork and simple mix up the flour you don't need to add any salt because most of those already do got salt most of the season lovely so that's the flour right here is tree egg and I'm, all I'm going to do is just beat my tree egg, use my fork and beat my tree egg like this. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop roughly two tablespoons of milk inside of the egg. And just beat it like this. Nice and lovely. Put that at the side. And also, let's put on the gloves and simple marinate your meat like this. All right. Look at that. That is 
proper, beautiful and nice. As you can see, I, the, best, the most important thing, I wash off my chicken with some lemon juice. And as I can say, two, four, six, eight pieces of chicken, guys. That's all I'm gonna fry today. And I'm just gonna do you a quick and simple, easy fried chicken where you can do this at home. Lovely recipe. So right here, I'm gonna put this down to soak for two hours, and I'm gonna come back in two hours time. Lovely and nice. Nice one. So, I just take my chicken back from the fridge. Remove the clean flame and everything is ready. So what I'm gonna, I'm gonna simply pop the beaten egg on the chicken like this. And it's only three egg with roughly three tablespoon of milk. Next thing, I'll give you an idea what you need to do. After you put the egg over the, over the chicken, give it a little rub like this. Make sure it rub up all over the, the chicken. Nice and lovely. Looking lovely good. Really, really nice. Then simple. After you egg wash your chicken, dip it straight inside of the flour. Nice and lovely. And simple shake it off just like this, guys. And simple pop it into a container which dry or something where a plate or something just pop it inside of it. And then in the meantime, what you need to do is to make your oil start to get hot. So I'm flowing the chicken, as you can see. And just simply put them down like this. So that's all of the chicken. As you can see, I just did all the chicken. But the next secret what you need to do is to put the chicken straight inside of the flour, just like this, and just like this, and just like this. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna re-flour them, all right? So as you can see, that's a secret, guys, I'm sharing with you today. That's one of the number one way all you can fry your chicken at home. Do the same thing, re-flour it, and simply shake it off and put it back inside of the container. So you double flour it, all right? Lovely and nice. That's the secret for you today. You learn something new of how you can fry chicken at home and it looks so lovely and nice. People might have believe you're at work in the art. <laughs> I'm not gonna call it a name. But this is a number one way how you can do your chicken. Reflour it, double flour it, and it just come out really good because sometimes it doesn't the flour doesn't stick on it the right and proper way or you want it so you reflour it so I'm gonna do all after you put the egg over the, over the chicken give it a little rub like this make sure it rub up all over the, the chicken nice and lovely Looking lovely good really really nice then simple after your egg wash your chicken dip it straight inside of the flour nice and lovely and simple shake it off just like this guys and simple pop it into a container which dry or something where a plate or something that's pop it inside of it and then in the meantime what you need to do is to make your oil start to get hot so I'm flowing the chicken as you can see and let's simply put them down like this that's all of the chicken as you can see I just did all the chicken but the next secret what you need to do is to put the chicken straight inside of the flour just like this and just like this and just like this and what you're gonna do 
you're gonna reflower them all right so as you can see that's a secret guys I'm sharing with you today that's one of the number one way or you can fry your chicken at home do the same thing reflower it and simply shake it off and put it back inside of the container so you double flour it all right lovely and nice that's the secret for you today you learn something new of how you can fry chicken at home and it looks so lovely and nice people might have believe you at work in the art <laughs> I'm not gonna call it a name but this is a number one way or you can do your chicken reflower it double flour it and it just come out really good because sometimes it doesn't the flour doesn't stick on it the right and proper way or you want it so you reflour it so I'm gonna do all nice and lovely so as you can see I just finished flour it now we're gonna move to the next level of how to fry it all right that's the volume one of the chicken let's go to number two now how to fry it nice and lovely guys as you can see I got a medium sized front pan on the stove with some oil inside of it three quarter water oil inside of it or half pot of oil so basically what we're gonna do we're gonna fry that lovely chicken which we just flour and marinate it first of all I'm gonna pop up is a time that means the oil is hot and I have there a medium sized piece that's a piece of thyme piece of spring onion and some white onion some garlic I leave I just wash off the garlic them earlier so I leave it in the chash give it flavor and I'm putting some as you can see I'm gonna put a lovely Jamaican scotch bonnet pepper straight inside of it look at that that is beautiful and nice the next thing we're gonna put in the chicken medium sized heat guys do not rush when you're frying the chicken please let's take it easy no rush there's only eight pieces lovely and nice as you can see just look at that I know I'm gonna put a little bit more heat on it that is proper beautiful and nice let's sink down those few pieces get them down inside of the oil nice and lovely so just just look at that that is beautiful then the beauty is i'm gonna cover it and make it fry for a nice good 15 minutes nice and lovely just look at that guys that is so fantastic as you can see no rush when you're frying a nice lovely fried chicken like this you can see my the pepper just frying in on the top of it just beautiful and nice look at that beautiful you guys are gonna love this so we are making this fry for a nice good 15 minutes let's cover it and leave it make it fry and get all of those flavor from the scallion from the thyme and from the scotch bonnet pepper enjoy the recipe So, look at this. Look at this lovely fried chicken. Very easy and simple, guys. Easy, easy going. Whoa, whoa. Look at that. That is fantastic. So, the secret behind in frying a fried chicken at the moment, the stove is very low. So, it is frying it and it's just getting all of those, man, getting the flavor straight inside of the chicken. So now, what I want to simply say to you, roughly about 20 minutes now since I've been frying them. 20 minutes now since I've been frying this chicken. And as you can see, it was on a high heat when I started off. Not really so high, but in between high and the middle. 
I know it's very low, so it's cooking it. But I want to simply say to you, as you can see, I don't even think I need to go any further with this chicken. But as you can see, the way it's looking lovely and nice, I can just take them out now, <laughs> basically. So these are finished and I'm going to take them out and show you how we do our fried chicken in Jamaica. Enjoy the recipe guys. Thank you so much for watching my cooking show. And as you can see, these are just lovely and nice. Really fantastic. Shake off those grease. Yeah, now we're going to take them out. So as you can see, the scotch bonnet pepper, spring onion, garlic and white onion. And that's the way we do it when we fry our Jamaican fried chicken recipe. Tips and ideas for you guys. Enjoy the recipe. See you next time. Bye bye. Right. So as you can see, all my fried chicken looking lovely and nice. As you can see, really, really good guys. Really cook, really nice and beautiful. Some people when they cook, they must, you know what I mean, the chicken bun up and all those things. But there's a secret of making fried chicken, guys. If you want your chicken to come out fried, really lovely and nice, as you can see, oh, I did it with the flour in. It's all about the flour, all right? So, sometimes I do use uh, the pack one. I buy the pack flour at the shop and fry my chicken, and sometimes I just use my ordinary plain flour and just, you know what I mean, fry up some chicken at home. So as you can see, the recipe right there is just easy and simple. So if you like the recipe, just leave your comments. And thank you so much for watching Chef Ricardo Cooking Show. We've got a lot more recipe coming out soon. I like these guys. So see you next time. And thank you so much.